Emma, hey. how do you like your party so far? Oh, it's great. Uh, how great? <laughs> I like it. I mean, I, I just I got in kind of late last night, so I haven't gotten to really go out too much yet. But I like the vibe, you know, it's very different from, from where I live. Is there any place in Indonesia you, you like to visit? Uh, yeah, I was going to go to Bali uh, like a week before this trip and I I didn't. I went to Thailand instead on this trip just because it's rainy season in Bali right now. But um, but I, I would love to go there and, and you know, surf and surf. What's the memorable moment while making well, the most memorable moment? Probably walking into the studio in LA. Uh, let me rephrase this. There's a studio in LA called East West Studios, and Frank Sinatra recorded there, and Elvis recorded there, and the Beach Boys recorded there, and, and we got to record in, in that room. And so we walked in there, and there's this picture of Frank Sinatra. And now the end is near. In the studio, standing at this um, podium, you know, uh, he's conducting this this orchestra, or singing at this podium. And the podium was in that room, so I, you know, I walked up to the podium and stood behind it, and touched it, tried to rub off some of the luck. You know? So that was that was a pretty cool memory. Okay, uh, would you start uh, to get the Grammy nominees? Uh, is it true? Grammy nominees? The nomination? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how does it feel? Well, guys, it just started uh, two years ago, and. It's so fast for Yeah, it's so crazy. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Um, you know, I think we're all really grateful that the year went so well. And, uh, you know, it's, it's cool to be nominated for a Grammy. Uh, and it's just such a, such a weird what thing. It happened so fast. I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't expect. I don't, I don't expect. I don't really know. I try not to think about it too much because. I think for me and I think for the other guys too is that it's not really about awards, you know, it's more about having a long career and, and making good music and having an impact on people's lives. That's that's the award for us, you know. Okay, uh, so do you think pumped up kicks? Mainstream success has anything to do with the fact that it had, it had, it had already become a viral hit on the internet, YouTube. So do you think that has anything to do with it? your final success with your success now? Oh uh, sure, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think um, that was a, that definitely sped up the whole process. When Pumped Up Kick started to go viral online, you know, we noticed right away that our show started to sell out, and that uh, you know uh, people started to really take notice, and record labels started to take notice, and. And everything, you know, it's kind of like a steroid shot, you know, it's kind of like a booster shot, you so know, when things go viral like that. What about Pound Up Kicks that really attracts music fans? What's about the song that really attracts you? I really I think, story, <laughs> I think it's the I think the feeling, I think the feeling, I think it makes you feel uh, good inside. It makes you it makes you joy it's joyful, it's happy, it's like it makes you feel good, it's cheerful, it makes you makes you want to dance, but at the same time it's it makes you want to relax. What to do if you are being bullied or Um, what what should people do if they're being bullied? <sighs> it's such a hard thing because you know I got bullied when I was a kid a lot. You know, and, um, In high school? High school and middle school, yeah. I mean, just kind of all you know, growing up. Um, and it's really tough, you know. I think there's there's not a lot you can do. Um, if, if you're getting bullied besides fight, you know, it's kind of the only thing that you can do is stand up for yourself and, and hopefully people will stop, you know, picking on you, but uh, I think, you know, really the responsibility falls on the adults, you know, the teachers or the parents, uh, the people in the community that can step in and say, like, hey, this is not, you know, this is not okay, and I think it's, you know, they should punish kids that are, that are bullies, you know, and, and really make it tough for them. Uh, because, you know, when you're young and your world uh, kind of is collapsing around you, you know, getting bullied, it's the worst feeling because you feel like it's never going to change. You, know, you feel like life's not going to get any better. You know, so I'm glad in the States it's changed a lot. You know, it's changing a lot and they're, they're creating new laws and schools are really starting to crack down on, on that sort of thing. So what kind of students did you were in high school? Um, disconnected. Yeah. 
I was, I was, no, I, no, I wasn't really, no, I wasn't really a geek. I, um, no, I was, I, I've always been a self learner. I always, you know, I've always read a lot. I've always kind of done my own thing, you know, but I was pretty bored in school. What is your preferred subject? Lunch. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Everybody loves it. Uh, and uh, uh, like, what's an old question? What type of girl would you like to date? Uh, specific. What kind of? Do you have any girlfriend? Actress or something? Uh, are you single? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm single. Um, I always date girls that are really sweet. I think that's like. And the most important thing, you know, it's just a girl that, that li likes to laugh, it's easy going, and, and just someone that I can have fun with, you know. Do you have certain formula in writing songs? Do you have the trick that you always use that in every time you write songs? No, I don't really have a formula. Um, music first or so just music first? Like first? Music first, definitely. And then I'll write lyrics last. Are you first?